much more clear for you to remember all right so this is how you would be remembering how all the three algae they will be differing by, from each other by their major general characteristics all right so see here chlorophyll c or green algae for them the major pigments would be chlorophyll a and d okay stored food will be starch cell wall is made up of cellulose and finally, the flagellar number of position, flagella of course is present in 2 to 8 in number, equal in size and apically placed position, alright. And habitat as you know, they may be found in freshwater as well as marine habitat but they are mostly freshwater, alright. Now, coming to Pheophysi or brown algae, commonly known as the brown algae, here on the other hand chlorophyll A and C would be found. Stored food or reserve food material is mannitol or laminarine. Cell wall is made up of cellulose and on the outside there is a gelatinous sheet of algin. Flagellar number and position. First of all, flagella is present. In the number of two, they both the flagella will be unequal and laterally placed. Finally, habitat wise, they are mostly marine. Only a very few or rarely they would be freshwater. Rhodophyce, on the other hand, red algae. The major pigments will be chlorophyll A and D. Stored food is fluoridian starch, which is similar to glycogen or amylopectin. Cell wall is made up of cellulose, pectin, and polysulfated esters. Flagellar number of position here completely. Flagella would be absent, if you remember. In the life cycle, motile structures are absent. And habitat wise, again, they are mostly marine, rarely freshwater. Alright, so here clearly you are getting a scenario how the three types of algae are differing from each other. Okay, how, what is the basic difference? So this particular chart is very, very, very important for you to remember. Many of questions have been asked in need from this much difference or this particular table itself. So this is very, very important to remember that. And on the last note, we have the life cycle of most algae. Why I have written most algae and not all algae? That's because there are a few exceptions found in algae in which the life cycle pattern is a little different. Okay? About exceptions, we'll talk in the last part of the chapter. For now, do remember, algae have a haplontic life cycle, means their main plant body in which the algae would exist most of the time in the life cycle will be haploid. Okay, mostly the algae will be haploid and you know very well that plants show alternation of generation. So they have haploid and diploid phases in their life cycle. In the haploid phase, the plant body is called gametophytic plant body or gametophyte. On the other hand, in the diploid phase, the plant body is called sporophytic plant body or sporophyte. Alright, understood that? In case of algae, which is the most primitive form of plants, for them, the main plant body is haploid or gametophyte. Alright, so let's see how the life cycle will be occurring in most algae, which have haplontic life cycle, it means their main plant body being haploid. Alright, so see, it all begins with the main plant body, that is the gametophyte, N. N means haploid, isn't it? So gametophyte, which eventually will undergo gametogenesis means gamete formation now every haploid organism will undergo gamete formation by mitosis all right so by mitosis they will undergo gamete formation or gametogenesis all right this will give rise to haploid gametes and the haploid gametes will undergo fusion by fusion what would be happening fusion of gametes will lead to fertilization isn't it and due to fertilization, what would be formed is a diploid zygote. So see here, everything was haploid all this while. The first thing in the life cycle that has been formed diploid is the zygote. The zygote is the only diploid cell that is formed in the life cycle of the algae. Otherwise, every other 
cell, every other phase is haploid. That's why haplontic life cycle. Understood? So zygote being deployed to N. Now zygote immediately after formation will undergo meiosis. In any kind of an organism, when you see that immediately after zygote formation, it undergoes meiosis. It does not grow up to become a sporophyte. It does not grow up and become anything. It simply undergoes meiosis to get back to the haploid state. Meiosis means reduction division. So by meiosis, now what will be formed are haploid cells. So as if the zygote immediately is undergoing meiosis to give rise to the haploid state back again. Right? So by meiosis, what are formed are haploid spores. These spores will eventually germinate, giving rise to again haploid gametophytic glandular. Alright? So most of the time you can see that the life cycle consists of haploid phase. The only diploid thing formed in the life cycle is the zygote, which also immediately after formation will undergo meiosis, giving rise to haploid state again. Alright? So that's why in, in this life cycle, majority or what is dominantly found is the haploid phase or gametophytic phase. So we should say that most algae are showing haplontic life cycle. Understood this? Clear? So with that, algae is finally completed. In the next class, we'll start with bryophytes.